गाइज आई होप एवरीबडी इज फाइन इन टूडे वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग द क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कंटेक्सट फ्री लैंग्वेजेस कंटेक्स फ्री लैंग्वेजेस क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टीज लाइक वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन रेगुलर लैंग्वेज वेदर दे आर क्लोज अंडर कंकैटिनेशन इंटरसेक्शन एंड many more so we talk about uh, context free languages the first property is union now we are going to take an example in which two languages are there one language is language 1 and one language is language 2 and we are going to do union of both like for an example if we do union of a par n b par n and c par m clearly m and m are greater than equal to 0 and uh, clearly it is a context free language and the other language that we are taking is a par n b par m c par m so n m greater than equal to 0 so if i do union of both now the point over here is your language one is having a par n b par n it means uh, number of b's are popping number of a's out and uh, Uh, there is language number two where C's and B's are there, so number of C's are popping, number of B's out. So we can say that mm, uh, your uh, language one says A's and B's are equal, and language number two says B's and C's are equal. So if I do union of both, it means uh, that uh, either of these languages. will be picked up whether it is l1 or l2 either of these this is union so it means the case is uh, if if i pick union uh, of l1 and l2 if i pick l1 again this is a context free language again if i pick l2 that is also a context free language hence i can clearly say the union of two context free languages is also context free language so this is the very first property of your closure property of context free language now we are taking the clear case of concatenation again we are going to take two uh, cases where l1 i will take l1 is a par n b par n n greater than equal to 0 and your l2 says uh, c par m d par m m let's say greater than equal to 0 so if i take you a concatenation of l1 dot l2 it means i'll take a case of a par n b par n c par m d par m where n comma m both are greater than equal to 0 guys this is also a context free language clearly how because uh this is a context free language because number of b's will pop number of a's and number of d's will pop number of c's clearly uh, that is also a context free language where b's will pop a's and d's will pop c's if it is uh, solved by using push down automata clearly that means that this language is also a context free language now we are taking the third number case the third number case is closure i'm taking the case of uh, uh, language l1 which is a par n b par n n greater than equal to 0 closure means that i will be creating a loop of this star n greater than equal to 0 guys even if i put star over here means i'll take null then i'll take one power of a par n b par n then uh, again uh, there are certain uh, number of uh, times i'm basically going to take a uh, a square b square uh, we we can take the concept of a3 b3 clearly this is also a context free language because at the end we will get this result only and all the cases are considered accordingly yes this is also a context free language now the important cases that we are going to consider are intersection intersection means creating the common part of a particular language let's say i'm taking an, a case of a par n b par n 
c power m n and m greater than equal to 0 and l2 case is a power m b power n c power n n m greater than equal to 0 guys if i take uh, here number of b's are equal to number of a's here number of c's are equal to number of b's if i take the commonality between them so there is no nothing as such which is uh, common where language number one says number of b's are equal to number of a's and number uh, language number two says number of c's are equal to number of b's so if i take uh, the commonality between them uh, the commonality says uh, that intersection both the conditions need to be true so it means this condition is to be true uh, this uh, condition needs to be true so clearly the problem is uh, yes this 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 is one problem that we need to uh, see that both conditions cannot be true at the same time hence it is not a context free language that we will have so this is something which is uh, which is very important to be identified so uh, the same applies with the complementation even i put a complement part of this complement means uh, whatever you have the other let's say language one says a par n b par n c par m so guys what is uh, an nm greater than 0 so it means all the values except l1 all the values so what kind of other values that we are going to have we are going to have all the values but uh what we should not inc include from language number one everything is important guys so clearly the deduction is that context-free languages are not closed under complement function intersection function but they are closed under means these operations they are definitely context free languages which is one operation is union one operation is concatenation and third operation is closure this this is very very important to be identified so these are the things which are uh, which are uh, the properties of closure properties of context free languages fine i hope this is clear to you if there is any doubt you can always ask me kindly put it in comment section kindly like share and subscribe thank you very very much